Good morning, everyone. I actually just ended yesterday's vlog and now I'm restarting it up today. Um, so we are here in our basement. The boys are just playing. Grayson is, I don't know, let's see what he's doing. What are you doing? I tried to build a five-level Hot Wheels garage. He's being very patient because he wants my phone so that he can look up a video on YouTube on how to make a five-level Hot Wheels garage. This is Grayson's new favorite thing is he likes to go on YouTube and he looks up videos on how to build certain things with magnet tiles and then he recreates them, huh? And late, recently, it's he's really been loving the garages. And then we have a ton of just cars that he puts all in his garage, huh? Great. And then we've got Felix down here. He always seems to be around wherever we are. And then we've got Porter. He's up here. What are you doing? He's getting into all my toys that I have in my rotation bin. So that's just great. He's like, oh, I actually like all these toys. I have like one bin that's like baby baby toys that like the boys have just grown out of, but I don't want to get rid of because we're about to have another baby in a couple months. Um, and then I also have another bin that's just like a rotation toy bin that the boys like haven't played with in a while. And then I'll probably rotate it. Maybe like a month after Christmas or so, we'll see. Porter's playing in the crawl space. I've got all these boxes up here. All these, these are train tracks from my grandparents. Like my grandpa had a train growing up or like it was my great uncle's train. I really don't know whose train this is, but we need to set it up today. So that's um, Anthony's job, but I'm gonna help. That's on our to-do list today. Also today is we are gonna go do lights at the zoo. Um, so we already did it once. I don't remember if I vlogged it or not, but we already did it once. Um, Anthony's company that he works for actually rented out the zoo um, back in November. And so we were able to go for a night um, and the boys loved it. And now we're going again, which Anthony's like, why do we have to go a second time? We've already gone before. But it is tradition that we go with my sister, Allison, and her husband, Garrett. We go every year. The husbands hate going. They make fun of it every year. They say it's the exact same lights, the exact same experience. I mean, Anthony and I were going to lights before we even had kids. Like, it's just ever since we started dating in high school, we've gone to lights. We've gone to lights at the Toledo Zoo. We've gone to lights at the Cincinnati Zoo. And now we go to lights at the Columbus Zoo because we live in Columbus. So it is a tradition that we go. Um, I think it's going to be not too cold today. I think 47, 45, so it won't be too bad. Um, we've gone before when it's been snowing, so I think it won't be too bad. Of course, with the kids, they really don't last long because it's cold, and then, you know, Gray's personality is like, okay, I see the lights, I'm over it. He's very much like Anthony in that aspect. I don't think he will be a fun shopping buddy when he gets older, <laughs> but um, got to go, got to see all the lights. Also, the kids want to hit up the train and the carousel rides again. We got to do those for free um, last time we went when Anthony's company bought out the zoo. Um, but this time it's not going to be free, unfortunately. But I think it's like $2 a person, so it's really not too bad. The train is fine, except it's outside, so you're like on a train in the freezing cold. So not looking forward to that. And then the carousel is fine because it's indoors, but it goes around in a circle. And last time I was on it, it was making me like dizzy slash nauseous. I don't know if it was the pregnancy or what. So I'm hoping I can get out of that this time, but I don't know. Um, my sister and I were talking about maybe ma forcing our husbands to take the kids and then we would just stand and watch because my sister gets motion sick very easily. So we'll see how that goes. But yes, yeah, so we we're going to go do that tonight. We are Zoo members, so it's free. So even if the boys only want to be there for an hour, it's really no skin off our bones because we go for free. And it's awesome because we get um, two free people to come with us. So my sister and her husband always get in for free as well, which they love. So that's the plan. So I will vlog us putting up this train. We've never put it up before. We got it like two years ago and then haven't set it up because we were like trying to find a house last year. So we wanted to keep our house like as clutter free as possible. Little did we know it would take seven months to find a house and so this year we have to do it because my grandparents are coming tomorrow they're coming into town um we haven't seen them in a while they're going to come into town because tomorrow is my sister kelly's birthday so we're all going to get together at my mom's house and celebrate her 
And also, my grandparents have never seen our new house before. So we've been living here for, what, five months maybe? Four or five months. And they haven't seen our house yet. So they want to come and see it. So I got to get, like, the house looking semi-decent. And we want to set up this train because they gave us this train. And they'll be sad if they don't see the train set up. So I'll vlog the train set up. Hopefully it's not too hard. Anthony was like, oh, we can set it up with the kids. It'll be fun. And I was like... Oh, I don't know if that'll be fun. So we might do it at nap time. I don't know. And then I will vlog Lights of the Zoo. I think it'll be fun. I think it'll be busy because it's a Saturday and it's warm. It'll be warm-ish weather. So I think it'll be busy. Last year, we were actually kind of disappointed in Lights at the Zoo. A lot of their lights weren't working. I don't know if they had like a power outage when, on the day we went or what, but like they have a big, the Columbus Zoo has like a big lake in the middle towards the beginning of the zoo. And like they usually put lights on the lake and like none of the lake lights were working. And then a lot of the lights surrounding the lake weren't working. So we'll see if it's gotten better this year. Um, I was like saying to myself last year like if I would have paid money for this I would have been mad but because Anthony's parents get us a zoo membership it's all free to us so we just go for the pictures <laughs> and for the boys to have memories growing up going to see the lights I think growing up I went and saw Christmas lights at the zoo like every now and again but I don't think we went like annually we used to actually only go to the zoo we would call it white trash Tuesdays, White Trash Mondays, the zoo where I grew up like every Monday or Tuesday, I can't remember what day it was, would let um, residents of the county that the zoo was in go in for free if you went in before noon on like a certain day every week. And so my mom would take all of us kids and do that because it was free. But I don't think we went to the lights at the zoo very often because she had to pay full price and there were six of us plus my two parents. So that's eight people. So I don't blame her. But because of free for us, we go every year. So I'm just rambling. But I will pull the phone back out um, once we start building this train. Hopefully it's not too hard. We'll see. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> Are you helping daddy? I'm gonna try and There's set up the trains. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. This one Boxes. seems to have connectors on both sides rather than just one. This seems to have it only on one. That means something. <laughs> More lights. Grab the carousel. The boys grabbed it. Now we're gonna go find the train. Hopefully it's not too busy. <laughs> it's very busy today at the zoo. Everybody had the same idea. You Raven? <laughs> Anthony's loving it. <laughs> Magical. Doing it for the kids.
guys, so I'm editing this video and I realized that I never really recapped how Lights of the Zoo went, so I thought I'd just fill you guys in. Obviously, you saw those clips, so we did make it to the zoo. We went on the worst possible day to go to the zoo. Uh, it was so busy. I've never seen the zoo that busy. I think we got spoiled with the pandemic and a lot of people didn't go places and now what two years later almost three years later like people are kind of over COVID uh, and so people are going back out into the world and that was very evident in the zoo. Didn't help that we went on a Saturday. Didn't help that the weather was really warm. It was like 40s that that day slash night. It was just, oh, the traffic getting into the zoo. I mean, usually it takes us like less than 15 minutes to get to the zoo from our house. That night we sat in just dead stop traffic. I think it took us maybe 45 to an hour just to get into the zoo. Horrible. We had to park out like in a lot that I didn't even know existed because it was so far away. It was basically like right when you turn in. Like it was at the very, very back. So we had to walk forever just to get in. And then the crowds were busy. And of course, the boys wanted to do the carousel and they wanted to do the train. And it just took forever to do anything. So it was nice because the weather was good and we still saw the lights and it was great. But it was hard to appreciate the zoo lights that night because we had gone a month earlier when Anthony's company rented out the zoo and it was night and day difference crowd wise. Uh, we walked on rides uh, at, when we went to the zoo with Anthony's company compared to when we went with my sister and her husband. Uh, the line was, I think, I think we waited maybe almost an hour for the train, it just took forever, so. It was fun. The kids loved it. Uh, don't get me wrong, but I would not recommend doing what we did, which is going on a weekend and going when it was warm. That was just bad. I also found out later on that they were doing a couple of uh, special events during that day, which made it even busier. I guess they were like giving free tickets to veterans for that night specifically. And also like a huge school district was like giving their families of the school free tickets to go to the zoo. So it was like all those people normally wouldn't have been there, but they were because of the event. Why they did that on a Saturday doesn't really make sense to me. They should have done it on a Friday or a Sunday or a, during the week or something, but so that didn't help. So it was crazy, but it was a lot of fun. The boys had a great time. We stayed quite a bit, mostly because we had to wait for everything, but it was fun. And I'm always glad when lights of the zoo are over because it's stressful and cold. I hate going out in the cold at night. So I'm glad that's done. Check off another, um, Christmas to do event uh, I think that's kind of like our last one that like we had to do which is awesome because it's still like the beginning of December when we did it so anyway wanted to recap that for you don't go to lights of the zoo on a weekend when it's warm you heard it from me but anyway thank you so much for watching this video make sure to like and subscribe do you go to Lights of the Zoo every year? Uh, we do every single year. And I think we will continue to go every single year till our kids don't want to go. And then maybe it will stop. I don't know. <laughs> Again, thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.